Hi friends, welcome back to my studio. Today, uh, you can see I've already done a little bit of pre-planning, but I'm gonna do the rest with you, and there's gonna be, I think, a lot of really cool stuff. This is using the Showtime kit from Planners Anonymous, which I just got this week. I'm really excited about it, and I think it's gonna look awesome with these blackout pages that I got from Flights Planner Action, which, if you see this when it's been uploaded, are currently for sale. She only sells them one week a month, um, the first full week of the month. So if you see this later, it's coming up soon. But I'm really excited to use them. They're my first time using them. They're gorgeous. Um, and I think they're gonna look great with this Planner this Anonymous kit. So as you can see, I did a little messing around with the die cut. Just wanted to see what I wanted to do. But now that I've got this kind of sorted out, I'm actually gonna take these off because I've got a couple other things to do first. So there's not a lot of room for the dates here. Um, I could put them real small at the top, but all this um, drapery and stuff kind of needs something to like hang off of. And because of the way the script comes underneath, um, that's just not quite the right thing. So I'm going to draw a new line here. I'm going to put the date underneath and then we can hang this stuff off of it. So I'm going to start by doing that. I'm going to use a white gel pen and to just draw those lines. So I've measured how big the date stamps I'm going to use are and I want to put an inch in between. As I've mentioned before, this is a quilting ruler, which I have because I quilted and still do a little bit. Um, but you don't need this kind of ruler, but it is handy if you have it. I think I'm going to leave the gaps in between. But what's nice about quilting rulers is I can, it's easy to make things like square because I can line up both here and here, which is really convenient. I'm using a Uniball Signo pen, Angelic. It's okay, it works. But my uh, Jelly Roll one is much thicker, so I didn't want to get too far away from the thickness of what is already on the page. So to do the stamps, I'm gonna use my DIY stamping tool. I'll post a link to the tutorial um, that I followed to make this. It was really, inexpensive and easy. This is a piece of paper that I use to test things on and I often just uh, leave it there <laughs> because I am lazy. So I'm going to use the stamps from the Bon Voyage kit um, from Planners Anonymous. It has all the numbers because it's you know meant for like countdowns and stuff but that's going to work really well for me. And now I just have to remember what the dates for this week are. All right, Monday is the 4th. So this is really easy the way you do it. You just place it where you want it to be. I'm just going to try and make it even and centered and place it where I want it. What's nice about doing it this week is that they're single digits, which is more convenient than double digits. All right, got those lined up the way I want it. Let's close this. Carefully press on it and open it back up. Now, I've never used these stamps before, these particular ones, so I'm going to just quickly take an eraser and prime them a little just to remove any like hydrophobic part. And then I'm using the Hero Arts um, pigment ink and Stamping it on. I would love to get some more pigment inks. I only have this white one, and it means that none of my other stamping inks are applicable for this blackout spread. But, and then I'm just gonna press. What's lovely about using this is if I don't like how it turned out, I can either go back and see if I can get any more ink on here and it's gonna line up exactly, or that four is still a little iffy, so I'm just gonna go back rate and get the five and the six I'm fine with. So now that's all labeled. Uh, I think I'm going to letter something here like this week or something so we can remove this page. 
I'm not sure we're done stamping, but I don't know what we'll want to do. And then I will clean these stamps a bit so we can keep them safe and not lost. I'm gonna use a stamping block just because they like to stick to that and then I won't lose them. And we'll go ahead and keep going. So these ones with double digits are harder to like eyeball. I think that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna do a little repeat on this one. All right, so I think we're good. I'm gonna remove these numbers to clean off in a little bit, and we're ready to keep going. So I love using this like stamp positioner for really any kind of stamps, to be honest with you. Um, if you're nervous about stamping, which I had never really done until I started getting planners and anonymous stamps. Um, there's like almost no better way to guarantee the results you're gonna get. Um, the like name brand ones are quite expensive, um, but the DIY one is really cheap. And I'll post a link to that tutorial. Um, I'm a little white on my hands and it's getting places. Um, but you can be sure that it's standing evenly. If you have a mistake, you can make sure that it goes back exactly where you want it and um, it just works really well. So if you're nervous, I really recommend that because it just, it really, really helps. So I can't decide about this balance. Maybe I'll cut it in half, moment of truth here, cut it in half and then, because I don't want to have to punch through it. So we'll cut it in half like this. So, um, like most Planners Anonymous themes, this one has kind of two major components to it. There's a like stage portion and like a movies portion. And this one I'm focusing on the stage elements just because it seems like fun and um, you got to narrow things down somehow. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down. This is new this month for Planners Anonymous, that the die cuts are adhesive, which is so exciting. I love that change. I realize that a lot of people use these for a lot of different things, but I would love it if they were just a little thinner too, so that I don't have problems writing on the other side of the paper. But I understand that people use these for cards and other things where like that sturdiness is helpful. So just going to put these down. Okay, so all of the curtains are up. I'm going to wait on these other things because I don't want them in the way for what I'm going to do next, which is I'm going to um, have the spotlights and I'm going to mask off oh, and what I meant to do, and I'll do it on this next one. Hopefully it will be okay, is um, sometimes if I'm masking, I like to stick it on my clothes first just so that this isn't particularly sticky washi tape and this paper tends to be pretty sticker resistant but I don't want to tear my pages. So we've got these. Here's the part I'm nervous about um, but I'm going to take my white ink and my blender and we're gonna make some blendy here, I'm not sure this is quite wide enough to prevent disaster, so we'll just add a little more here. Um, obviously, you could just go for it if you wanted to, um, but as I said, I like to be certain I'm going to end up with something I'm happy with, and if that takes a little more time, well, I only do one spread a week, so it's not the end of the world for me, personally. We're not about efficiency here. This is my opportunity to make kind of an indulgent piece of art every week. We're not gonna deprive ourselves of that. All right, here we go. I'm gonna um, fast forward, I think.
All right, so here we go. Moment of truth here. Pull these up. I wish, I mean, there's plenty of white on the page. It's not the end of the world, but there's going to be a bunch of gold happening on the page too. Um, I kind of wish I had like something a little more yellow for as an ink, like a gold or something. But as I said, you need it to be pigment ink. And this is the only one I've got. So I don't know if you can see, I've got a tiny bit of like overshadow here. Um, but it's not too bad. Washi type tape is coming off really cleanly, which is nice. A ripped page. I got some awkward spots up here, but I didn't worry about it too much because um, the, the lamp is going to be there. Let's see if I can erase this. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, I'm a little worried that we're in smudge station here, so I'm going to try to be really careful not to touch things until they're dry, like set or something, because like I'm getting smudges. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to like seal this or something. We're going to ignore it for now. We know we can erase it and we're going to keep going and not let it bother us. I think when we're when we you know have the full effect. So there, look, can't even see that messy over there. I'm tempted to like try to soften the edges, but I'm not that good an art blend like a ink blender. I guess I could try it with my pencil and just see if I can soften that edge just slightly. Yeah. It's just like slightly less dark. But it's not easy to get these eraser bits off if you're also trying not to touch the page too much. We will have to figure out what to do with that, but in the meantime, I've got a microfiber cloth and try and get it off my fingers at least. So honestly, I think we're already like a large portion of the way to where I want to end up. Put these seats here. All right. And honestly, I can go ahead and do the only other thing I have planned. And then uh, we're off into the wide world here of the unknowns. But I need a weekly box. I'm back here at the end. One of these. And I've been thinking I would do the red. There's plenty of red happening. I'm kind of tempted to do the gray. So we have that. And now I need some functional boxes around but i'm not above just writing right on the page so um when you order blackout best sends you these like testers and i tested all my gel pens on it here and so i've got some good options all right we keep having problems because my battery is overheating so that's going to be a problem and i never know how much of things it caught but what I've done is drawn two of these swashes with this um Zig Fudibiori um marker I've done two layers of those and I can write with that on with this Pigma Micron pen I did sticker surgery on this sticker here using this sticker that was longer and had this um same graphic and I didn't want to use it twice and it also came with like these lights here so Sammy if you could make this part of the digital kit I would love that and use it all of the time it is great um and then I ended up using two three point checklists here and here um they're a little crooked because I can't find my tweezers but we're letting it go. So um, the last step here is just some final decor. Um, you know, I've got a little bit of a rough spot here that might be good. Let's start with this original one. I don't know why I feel the need to put it back in order, but here we are. Um, so just put like some little cute stuff around, letter something up here and I think we can call it a day. So that star is cute but it's the same thing. I don't have any flowers on here. 
find that surprising. But here we are. So like I could put some flowers. All right, we'll come back to the start. I don't want to use any of these like very movie stuff. I do like the post-it notes. I love the post-it notes. And these kinds of swashes too. That's what gave me the idea. They're just a little, a little small for the Happy Planner Classic. I've been thinking about sticker surgering these and making them a bigger box too. Maybe all three of them. If you've done that, let me know. Okay, I was thinking about the minis. We'll come back to those. I don't associate popcorn with the theater. Ah, no, I don't know. I was gonna put a star here. I don't know about that anymore. I love this weekend highlights too, but I didn't have room for it on here. I do want this planner. I don't know what I'm gonna put there. We often get takeout, and I like to note where we get it, get it from um, on Friday. So maybe that's what will go there. These are gorgeous, but I didn't allocate room for them. This will come back to because that seems like possibility. Same with these, and maybe I've done a full cycle here. I'm surprised there's not like just this is the only like one rose. But it's not even it's not on uh, the stamps either. There might be one in the die cuts, but that's okay. I just thought it would be nice to put like a, a rose, big old rose here. But that's cool. All right, we're gonna put a mini. We're going to put main character accepting her award, and then. So that would be movie night, my husband and I watching TV, and I can write what we watch. And I think we are like very close to go. Maybe I'll put like a one of the little peeps here sticking up over, have her sticking up over the little things. And lettering. Okay. Last thing. This is harder to do on camera than some things, but we're going to go for it. So I like to always work with a straight edge and um, draw my lines. That's a little tedious for you. I totally understand, but I like to. Except that I keep forgetting that this pencil does not show up well on here. All right, I think that this skinny one is gonna be the right thing for the job here to get all the letters in. And even then it's gonna be tight. Not a lot of space between this and week. All right, that's not perfect. Oh no, it's much the four. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something, I think. I'm gonna ask in the Light Planner Action Group, because I've seen people using ink on this paper, but it's been quite a while now since I stamped it, and it's still smudging, so I think I'm gonna need to, Oops, sorry. Put some, attempt to put some hairspray on it or something. Um, because I love the paper, I love the technique, but I don't want to babysit it all week. So, a little bit of smudging doesn't bother me, but I don't want it to get too bad. Anyway, I will put in a pinned comment beneath here um, what I end up doing about the smudging. I'm going to go ask in the group right now and um, let you know in the pinned comment below. But I hope you enjoyed this Showtime uh, spread. I actually was going to skip Showtime and didn't in the end. And I'm really enjoying this, I have to tell you. So Planners Anonymous delivers. It really does. So, and this is last month's kit, but if you're watching this now in the beginning of October, uh, the new Masquerade kit looks amazing. So if that's your thing, go check that out. There'll be a link um, down below for 10% off your first box if you subscribe. Um, but I know a lot of you are already subscribers. Have a great day. Uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and some kind of fun techniques. And I will talk to you later. Bye, friends.